Well, hey there, fabulous photographers. I got a great question from Shelly today about which app she should be using as she creates the videos for her IGTV channel. So she's looking for something to edit her videos with. And today we're going to jump into an app I recently discovered. It's called InShot. And as you can see on my screen, it's this little red icon. We're going to go ahead and click on it. And I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use InShot to create your videos. So once you get inside, you're going to click on video. And it's going to give you all the options of the different things that you have recently filmed. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pick one. And we can see that we've got a lot of different options here. So you can trim, there's canvas, so you can actually put a frame around this, there's filters, there's music, which I don't recommend that you use because of copyright. I don't know what this is. I have not looked into it yet and where you're allowed to use it and where you're not allowed to use it. So please be careful with there. You can speed things up. Um, there's some gradients in there. There's text, there's rotate, so you can actually change things around. You can flip things if you want, whatever it is you need to do. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at trim real quick. And you can slide these sliders and decide how long your video clip is going to be. Obviously, you're going to have to work with that a little bit. I have used this app before as I was testing it, and it can be a little tricky sometimes. So definitely make sure you practice that a little bit. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't work right away. There's some different options there. You're going to go ahead and click on the check mark and that's going to take you in. Now if you look at the bottom of the screen and you look at that little plus sign, if you tap that you can actually add in, check that out, another video. Now at this point you can also go ahead and trim that up. So we're just going to grab this. I don't actually know what these are. This is a tutorial I filmed for something else. And we can then go ahead and we can see where the transition is. We can play through our fabulous video here and then we can work on things like filters. So they do have a couple of filters that you can use. As a photographer, I don't know necessarily how many of these you're going to want to use because we are kind of particular about what we do, but they do have some things that you can buy as well. So you can see that there are definitely some add-ons, lots of different things that you can be doing. So let's just go ahead and let's just use the black and white because that would be cute. There's effects here. Oh, so you can actually, I didn't see this before, you can glitch things, you can flip things, you can mirror things. You can actually neon things. Well, that's fun. So there's a lot of different options there, and you can also click the adjust button. And you can make it darker, you can make it lighter, you can play with your contrast and your warmth, your saturation. There's fade, highlights, shadows. Oh, this is actually pretty intense, isn't it? So there's a lot of different options there. Let's just run with that. Oh, well, that was a fun little twist. Um, I have noticed that sometimes things twist a little bit, but that's okay. We're just going to run with it. Um, and I did notice that there were gradients here. You can do blurs, you can do colors, and I wanted to show you with this gradient, as you tap it, it changes direction, so you can kind of decide where you want it to go. Now, I have not been able to get it to cooperate with me, but perhaps you can get it to cooperate with you. We're going to click on text, and you are going to type in whatever you want there. Let's just say test text, and you can expand it, you can rotate it, you can change things around, whatever you need to do. You can change the color by clicking on that little color wheel. And you can actually also change the type of font. There are limited fonts in here, but you know, you've got different options. You're going to click on that check mark once you're happy. And you're going to see down at the bottom there is a slider here. Wherever this is lit up, wherever it's colorized, it's going to be over that part of your video. So maybe I don't want it to show up right away. I'm going to drag my start time back there. And we're just going to go ahead and watch that pop up on the screen. Check that out. When you're happy, you're going to click that checkbox. And ta-da, you're good to go. You can then click on text again. And if you click the little addition button, you are going to be able to type in second time. And you are going to be able to change your color. And you can change your font if you want. And you can go ahead and add that in wherever you would like that. And again, we've got two different sliders here. So if you look at that, it shows you what the words are and it shows you where they are and when it's going to pop up. So when you're happy with it, click your check mark and you are good to go. You can then go into something like stickers and you can add in uh, little sparkly dots if you want. If you want it to be kind of fun and cute, there's bows. There's all sorts of fun and fabulous things in here. You can actually look through it and decide what is going to be right for you. Check it out. They even have, it looks like, social media icons which you may or may not have to pay for. You do have to pay for those. You can pay for social media icons if you would like. So, when you're happy with your little floaty stickers there, you're gonna click that checkbox, and once again, it shows you where inside of your video it is going to be. And so, if you drag your, uh, your little dragger there, that is going to go ahead and play through 
and you can kind of see where everything pops up in there. So you do have a lot of options, there's lots of things you can do, and when you are all done, you are going to go up to the top corner, and you are going to go ahead and hit that export button, you can save it, and you are not going to switch your screens because it does need to process your video. Sometimes it'll take a minute, especially if it's longer, but you can add in different video clips. You can add in different text. You can add in those stickers and you can kind of play around with what you're going to do. Now, if you are filming this on your phone for your IGTV channel, you are already set with your vertical because you're filming up and down and you pop it right in here and then you can edit away. Now you also have the ability to edit on your desktop, which I love to do. So I would use something like iMovie um, they're going to put some ads in here. You can use something like iMovie. You can use whatever program that it is that you are using to edit your videos. There's also stuff inside of Adobe CC. So if you have Creative Cloud, that is something you're going to want to look into as well. And I do recommend that you upload this from your desktop, not directly from the app. So let's just go ahead and click out of here real quick. We're going to go over to Instagram. Nope. We're actually going to go to IGTV. Sorry, wrong place. IGTV, and you do have the ability to click on your profile, click on the little plus sign, and then you would add in what you just saved, which we're not gonna put up there because I, <laughs> I just tossed that together and we don't actually want that on my channel. Or you can go over to your desktop and you can actually go ahead and you can do some really cool things over in your desktop. Uh, you can edit your thumbnail, you can edit your words and your captions. So I highly recommend that. Take a look at it. It's going to be really helpful to you. And let me know if this is an app that you use and if this is an app that you want to use. Now we are going to have other tutorials on how to use things like iMovie to edit your videos for IGTV, but I highly recommend you check out the tutorials we already have out there about how to use IGTV, how to upload from your desktop, and all these fun, fabulous things you need for your IGTV channel. I'm Cam Robinson, social media marketing strategist and professional photographer here at Cam Robinson Photography. And I would love to see you over at camrobinsonphotography.com where we have webinars, tutorials, trainings, there's events, there's all sorts of Q&A that you can get involved with to expand your photography brand and learn how to market through social media in a really effective, really awesome and amazing way. So I hope you guys will check it out, camrobinsonphotography.com. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, stay inspired.